Hi, this is Decentered Media, conversations about community-focused communications for positive social change. Hello, Rob Watson here for Decentered Media, and I want to give a little bit of an overview of what we're talking about in the um, Community Media Makers Zoom session this week. So it takes place on Thursdays, uh, 6 p.m., from 6 p.m. Um, we usually chat for about an hour. Uh, last week we had a really good discussion about uh, social gain, protecting and uh, advocating for the social gain principles associated with community radio. <coughs> this week we're going to be talking about inclusion and diversity, but I want to take a slightly different perspective with that. Uh, if these uh, outrageously noisy motorbikes go out, they'll move off elsewhere. Um, anyway, uh, so we often think about diversity and inclusion from the point of view of our external um, manifestations of our differences, what we see, uh, how we interact in the world, how we operate as um, uh, people who are you know, often labelled or pigeonholed within certain categories and characteristics and it's incredibly important that we do that, they make a huge difference to understanding how uh, our media works because it addresses certain types of people in certain types of ways and there's an awful lot been discussed and written about this and about challenging the stereotypes. Where there's a stereotype which is um, which is quite prevalent which is, I, I, again I don't have the kind of proper framing of language about this at the moment um, and some of my thinking about this is kind of uh, you know, a fairly new and emergent but it, it goes back to something I was influenced by Paul Willis and his famous book Learning to Labour which is about how working class people don't acquire the um, the social graces, the social sophistication that middle class people do and there's a huge investment uh, in using words, using behaviour, polite behaviour, civ you know, civil attitudes towards um, conduct, social conduct, which uh, there's a, a marker, if you like, uh, between that which is bourgeois uh, and that which is working class or proletarian, if you want to use that phrase. <coughs> and um, I think it's um, it's quite important for us sometimes to to not throw the baby out with the bathwater and to, if we maintain our assumptions, and I'm guilty of this as, as anybody, that uh, actually we can be doing a disservice to people by assuming that a limited vocabulary is somehow a reflection of our innate intelligence. So I was listening to a podcast, the uh, excellent podcast by Will Hutton, which is the We Society, and he was asking a question um, about the the extent to which children are exposed to words and a variety of words. So the, the broader the vocabulary that you're exposed to by your family, your, your family's friends, your relations, uh, your aunts and uncles, the school that you go to, where it's acceptable to have a broader, wider lexicon available to you, that you do better uh, in life and that you are able to advance into uh, uh, higher levels of education and higher level jobs, supposedly higher level jobs. But I, it kind of made me think in a way because sometimes I think the assumption is that because you've got a limited uh, preference for or uh, recall to words means that you understand a situation less. It might just be, in the, and consider this really, is that the opposite is that actually you've got a uh, an ability to sort out the wheat from the chaff. You might express things bluntly and you might not be particularly poetic and erudite in the use of language and words to express this. However, you can get to the heart of the matter more quickly and that you can use words which have a more focused impact because they're more heartfelt or they're more um, appropriately expressed. So. For example, um, middle class, in my experience, middle class professionals tend to fudge and hedge uh, how it is that they talk about something because you don't really want to offend somebody. You don't want to uh, cross any social boundaries that are generally, um, you know, it, it's not polite to do so. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, working class people, uh, and I'm from a working class background, are more likely to express things they're uh, distaste, their 
uh, frustration, uh, their um, uh, concern about issues that are impacting on them in a much more robust, direct manner. Uh, and what I wouldn't argue is that we shouldn't educate ourselves. I'm a huge believer in education, but I'm also saying that just because somebody might be uneducated in the view of a particular cl social class. This is the kind of stuff that Pierre Bourdieu talks about in relation to the habitus, that you know, class distinctions are often laid out in terms of markers of taste and refinement, uh, as, and, and you know, privilege comes in your ability to use knives and forks correctly, you know, to know the etiquette of how to sit in a meal together. But it doesn't make you, you know, attaching moral judgments to that I think is wholly mistaken and wholly inappropriate. So the point is for community media, are we in danger of uh, it also imposing a form of discrimination and marginalisation against uh, those of us who weren't brought up in a privileged background with a priv privileged family? Um, and came to education late and came to education as a form of kind of personal uh, commitment rather than something that we, it was assumed and you were entitled to do and therefore you didn't have the experiences and the trappings to go with that middle class bourgeois life which facilitates ease of access to certain jobs, certain professions and certain and status within those jobs and professions whereas working class Ment you know, working class approach is about uh, being able to say what you think and express that in its immediacy and with its full uh, force. So I'm, I'm just interested in having a conversation about that because I'd like to see what other people think and how we f maybe feel about the idea that uh, we should broaden and we should be respectful towards I mean, that's, that's a crucial matter, you know, just kind of just because you, you're blunt in your language doesn't mean that you're disrespectful to people. It just means that you're, you're fairly forthright. Uh, and often that can get confused with belligerence or with, uh, you know, having a chip on your shoulder. Uh, and, you know, just because you're erudite doesn't mean to say that you're intelligent. And that many people, I've worked with many people in the past who are very erudite, um, but are, are fairly useless, or were fairly useless, at uh, managing things and understanding what the distinction should be in terms of problem solving, for example. So it's not straightforward. And I wonder, you know, kind of how do we engage with one another in terms of having that debate and discussion, and how do we facilitate the cross fertilization of ideas and to pollinate what can we take from different parts of our culture? So it's not just about those external diversity indicators that we uh, typically might think that we have to look at, but there's also a, uh, if you like, a cognitive, the way that we think and feel and function uh, internally, uh, as well as the kind of class relationships that we have. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, I'm not saying that we should instigate some kind of class conflict in order to transform our media, but I am saying that uh, on an individual basis that we maybe need to look at things in a more uh, holistic manner and a more inclusive manner also means being able and being patient and supporting and working with people in order to uh, bring about individual change through building confidence and capability uh, rather than if you like automatic ex excluding people because they express themselves in a certain way uh, so yeah so we're going to have a chat on thursday about this and a range of other topics no doubt as we normally do if you want more information go to the website and i've written a blog about this uh, decentered.co.uk uh, you can follow on twitter and instagram at decentered media uh, and if you want to sign up for Patreon, where you'll get a link to access our discussion, our Zoom discussion, go to patreon.com slash decenteredmedia. But uh, that's all for now, and I shall speak to you again soon. Visit decentered.co.uk or follow us on Instagram and Twitter at decenteredmedia.